out of the car today. Out of the car, what happened? He slammed my stick in the door. <laughs> and now I have this sore stick. <laughs> Peanut, did you apologize? <laughs> hey guys, it's your girl Leslie. Today we are reading Ponyboy X Reader. And I read this in my last video. We're going to read chapter 3 and 4. So this book is called It Started at the Record Store, Ponyboy X Reader Fan Fiction. Um, if you guys want to find this book, this book is on Wattpad. All you have to do is go to Play Store, look up what pad, and then I'll just, I'll just link the app in the description. I'm just gonna put, like, I'll try my best, but if I can't find it, look in the description. You'll know if I actually put it or not, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, there will, there will be some words that you will not understand. Um, I do understand some of them, but I don't remember. I just finished The Outsiders book. Freaking amazing. Y'all should read it. The Outsiders. Look it up. Read it, please, for me. This is the best book you're going to read, okay? Best book if you're interested in drama and stuff. Huh? Anyways, guys. Uh, anyways. Merry Christmas, y'all! Merry early Christmas, because it's December. The month of Christmas. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy your Christmases. Cause like I'm gonna, my mom already set it up the tree and stuff, and I'm like, huh, last video I think I showed you guys a picture of it. Not sure, but yeah. Anyways, I will try to read this chapter three and four. So I'm gonna try, but anyways, <clears throat> chapter three. Sooner than later, Saturday came. I stood out. I stood out front as the delivery truck left with five rather huge boxes of records. I I have black high waisted shorts on and a dark purple blouse on. That was tucked in. That was tucked in nicely. I surprisingly didn't have shoes on because it was rather hot out and I am lazy. I pick up a bo I pick a box up and I'm realizing how heavy the records can actually be. I pretty much waddled inside and huffed as I set down the box. I exhale and quickly rushed back outside and pick up another box. I stumble a bit, but I gained my balance again. At least I did for a second until I stumbled back into someone and quickly get my body away from him or her and put the box down. My f my face flushes a bright pink as I see Ponyboy regaining his balance. I'm, I'm so sorry, Ponyboy. I am a bit out of breath, but still make my worry clear in my voice. He had a plaid shirt on with ripped jeans and his converse. I felt a bit of pain in my foot, and I looked down at it. On my heel was a bare bottle piece stuck in it. I could feel the stinging. A warm trickle of blood leaves the wound. Leslie, you should go inside. I mean, guys, I forgot Rose. Rosie Rose. I forgot about that. I just... Ugh. Anyways, continue. Rose. Rosie, you should go inside. I got this. Pony seems so calm. I slowly shake my head. No, no, it's fine. It's just a piece of glass. I force a smile and chug it off. Is that ver your version of small? Because I'm not seeing it. Ponyboy mentions for me to go inside and sit. I do. I sit behind... I sit behind the counter in the small bathroom, and Ponyboy quickly brings in each box, then comes behind the counter with me. I had a cotton, I had a cotton swab in water, and Ponyboy grabs the swab from my hand and then gets some rubbing alcohol. I can do it, Ponyboy. I try to take the swab from his hands, but he puts it to the side and gives me a purely white smile. I got it. 
Plus, you kind of aren't cleaning, right? I almost was ir- irritated by his correction. He lifts my heel and pulls out the chunk of glass, then grabs a swab and dabs. My gosh, I, cr- I cringe at the pain. And then he puts some water on it. Soon, a, ban- a band-aid was on the heel of my foot. Thanks, Pony. I smile gently at him, and he returns one back. Why aren't you? Why weren't you wearing shoes? Because it's hot. I put on my socks as I sit in the, in the counter. I mean, on the counter. Yeah, I had to practice. I had to practice for track this morning. It sucked. Pony boy gave me a half smile and sat next to me. You do track? I gave him a shocked glance. Yeah, it's been a bit rougher. I had a hard time with smoking, trying to quit. So, for my brother and for the sport. Pony Boy glanced away as he said he smoked. Well, at least you're trying. I mean, lots of people don't even try to stop. I tap my feet as the customers come in. In packs. I throw my hair up into a bun and smile at each person person as they rush in. I guess you're right about that. So do you want to hang out when you get off when you get off your shift? He bit his lip as he asked this and soon after glanced at me. Sure. I don't leave till eight, so you're gonna have to wait three hours. I'll meet you outside the store. I quickly say as I take money and give change to an older woman. All right, see you at eight. Thanks for the help, I tell him as he leaves. And he just gives me a half smile. Time skip, 8 p.m. I shut the lights off and slip on my Converse as I lock the door behind me. I slip on my jacket as I glance down the street. I see a male figure smoking as he leaned up against the brick wall. I began to walk over to him, but quickly see it's a fat man. I rush back to the front and see Pony Boy walking up the street with a cigarette in his mouth. But when he glances up, he throws it to the ground and steps on it, exhaling the rest of the smoke in his mouth. I approach him and tilt my head slightly. No smoking, Mr. Curtis. <laughs> I said as I crossed my arms. I am trying my best, Mrs. Rose. Pony still had the smell of smoke on his, in his breath, but I didn't really care. Let me see your cancer sticks. Cancer sticks mean cigarettes, guys. Anyways, continuing. <clears throat> I demand. He handed me the ones that he has in his pockets. I throw them in a drain, and then I slip my hand up into his pocket, taking his lighter. I hear him gulp as I throw the lighter into the drain along with his long gone cigarettes. That was a bit harsh. I shrug at his response. You can't smoke. If you have nothing to smoke with, I chuckle. Then I take out a few lollipops and hand it to him. When you want to smoke, have these instead. Smart. Very smart. Pony Boy says as we reach the park. Not really. It's what my mother did. I lay down on the grass with him. As we stare up at the stars, you were sm- you are smarter. Trust me. You will learn to stop. You must be smart. You seem it. Pony Boy said, and I think, fe- and I we face each other, and I shrugged. At some points, I'm average, I guess. Pony Boy smiles at that as I turn to look up at the stars. I just have a lot of common sense. I correct myself. Jeez, that's what I need. <laughs> Pony Boy said soft, says lo- softly as we just stare up at the small lights that floated up in the sky. Chapter 4 Pony Boy and I stood at the end 
in the entrance to my kitchen. It was 11.10. I could see the tint of blonde in Pony Boy's hair. Why do you have blonde in your hair? I put my hand on a tint, a small tinted piece. It's a long story. For tomorrow at my house? Pony Boy says with a question, the questioning in his voice. Possibly at 12.30? I cross my arms. You, you picking me, you're picking me up here. Sounds good. I gotta go home before Derek kicks my ass. Pony boy chuckles. Okay, okay, go on. See you tomorrow. I'll be ready for that story. I chuckle and nod, and Pony boy nods as he leaves. I lock the door and chuckle softly. Jeez, Pony boy is pretty rad. I move a strand of hair behind my ear and smile to myself. Twelve twenty forty five Sunday. Pony Boy and I walked across the street where his house sat. The white paint was chipping off and the middle gate before his front yard was rusting. Pony opens it and we walk up the very short path onto his creaky small porch. Pony swings the door open and I step inside before him. I see boys sitting around in his living room. One had a towel wrapped around his waist and sat down watching Mickey Mouse with a bigger guy with a pompadour hairstyle. Guys, I don't know what pompadour mean. You guys can look that up. Uh... There was a guy with a tight white shirt and a on and a jacket. Soda, go get some pants. <laughs> Pony says quickly, blocking my vision of the guy in the towel. Soda, by the way, guys. <laughs> Too bitch, Gra- grab me my pants. <laughs> Soda is. Soda yells. It's too bit, you ass. The guy with the pompadour growls. Derry, I need my pants. Two dick ain't giving me a pair. Soda yells. Soda, they're on the floor next to you. Pony raises his voice. Yeah, but I need my boxers boxers too, Pony. Soda says rather calmly. Should I wait outside, asked Pony. He shakes his head and covers my eyes as I hear shuffling around the room. Hurry up, Soda. Pony shouts. I hear a bit more shuffling until my eyes were uncovered. Soda, dairy, and two bitch or the two dick. Stood up and smile, trying to act normal. I glance at Soda, who had a red face. I don't blame him. Sorry about that. Dairy glares down at Soda, who shrugged it off. Most girls would be begging me to have my pants off. Soda chuckles, but no one else does. This is Soda Pup, Dairy, and Two Bit. Pony introduces me. Leslie. So when did you two start dating? Two Bit asks, and and Pony and I both glance at each other, wide eyed. Guys, you know what? Well, this is sadly the end. I read two chapters. But guys, I just have to say right now. Okay, so the word that, let's see, let's see, let's see, where is it? Okay, here it is. Okay, so this is, oopsie, give me like right here. This is the word I do not know. If you guys can be kind enough and look this up, because I'm probably, and then comment down below, because I'm not going to look this up, because I'm really too lazy to. What it means, I think it's like an old-fashioned hairstyle or something like that. But anyways, this was kind of a fun, chapter 4 was a funny chapter. But I hope you, you guys enjoyed it. And guys, if you want to follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I'm going to put it down in the description. Please, I'm going to put a big, bold letter in the title. Read description so you guys can know. My Instagram, my TikTok, and my like will be there. 
and um what pad again uh but if you don't know i'm just gonna put it like what pad uh just go to the play store look up what pad and it's the big w okay um let's see it kind of looks like yes i do have other stories okay it looks like this big w right here Okay, here guys, let me show you real quick. Aww. This big W. This is Wattpad. Um, the other apps I'm talking about, this... Okay guys, let me help you out here. Okay. Wattpad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you guys out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe I'm doing this. This is TikTok. This is like, and then my ex Instagram is in the other one. Anyways. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And I know this is not the best video. Um, also, you can download this for free if you did not know. You can find all kinds of stories. So, fan fiction stories, you know. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And... Bye. Come on, don't be shy. I think I know the answer, Mr. Garrison. Nah, 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 nah. Shut up, fat boy. Hey, don't call me fat, you fucking Jew. Eric, did you just say the F word? Jew? No, he's talking about fuck. You can't say fucking school, you fucking fat ass. Kyle. Why the fuck not?